We're going to record on Zoom. Okay, so we're recording on Zoom now. I actually forgot to turn that on. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit, like I said, about the pandemic. We just read Psalms 91. We just had prayer. Uh, Pastor Marvin led us in the word. Uh, so now we're going to actually share a little bit of a document that is actually online. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to hear from Man in America and Todd Collinger, who is a lawyer, who's an attorney, um, who actually is, in fact, um, he actually is, in fact, um, let me share my screen right now. Okay. He actually is, in fact, um, mm. talking about this notice of declaration under the public readiness emergency preparedness act that's online currently right now it's called the marburg virus or the marburg disease and this was put into place on december the 8th 2020 so why is this here why are we talking about this today what why why come this is already in place and so they're going to talk a little bit about it. i'm going to actually turn my TV on and let you listen to a little bit of Man in America. If I can find my remote. <laughs> there it is. Um, so that we can talk a little bit and you can look for yourself online. See, the biggest thing about this is that uh, a lot of times people think you're making this stuff up. But here he is, Man in America. We're going to go ahead and turn this on and let him talk for a few minutes. So listen to this right quick amount of certainty as to what it is I'm saying. And so um, as it relates to you know, pandemics, as it relates to what it is we've been through, this one's kind of easy. This is, a, this is a knockdown. I don't have to speculate whether or not you know, Bill Gates next time is going to happen. Um, Mr. Biden, small b, by the way, just said uh, the other day, the next pandemic is coming. It's because they are pandemics. How does one know that? I know it with absolute certainty because, as I as I just said to you, you will find in the Federal Register um, on December nine of two thousand uh, and twenty, our Congress published through the Administrative Procedures Act on Wednesday of seven nine. There, lo and behold, is a declaration of a Marburg pandemic. Here it is. It's right there, and it happened already. I think there's been 10 Marburg deaths over 40 years, so this is not what you would call a pandemic. But nonetheless, the Secretary of Health and Human Services saw fit to make such a declaration all the way back in 2020, um, you know, after we were already in a coronavirus pandemic, so we had, we had conjoining pandemics. Why? Why does this happen? And the answer to that question is because it has an effect on the, the applicable law. There are effectively standby laws. Different things happen with different declarations, some by the president, some by the Secretary of Health and Human Services, as in that case, and some by the, the director of the World Health Organization, Mr. Tendros Adnan himself, um, who is, for all intents and purposes, at this very moment, a world dictator controls our, our military and every military on the planet. And I'll explain why it is from a legal perspective. But we are, according to our own government, in the middle of a Marburg pandemic. Marburg is a type of hemorrhagic fever, similar to Ebola. It is man-made. We have all the science on this. Um, and there's been a, a, a breakout of Ebola and Marburg hemorrhagic fever um, episodes in Africa, in southern parts of Africa, where the WHO and Bill Gates et al. have been um, um, just stand by one where Bill Gates and all of those people have been testing their um, testing their their vaccines, their experimental vaccines. So in any event, um, 300 people from Africa per day have been flying into the United States from that part of Africa, which is not, you know, by surprise, there would be some level of plausible deniability that, that it came from 5G or anywhere else. All I'm saying to you is we're already in this pandemic. Uh, and the reason for that is because it, it creates the suspension, not just for constitutional rights, but the suspension of our human rights, um, which includes, you know, the, the right to not be experimented on, right? So that's what happened. Everybody was wondering in, in COVID, where did our, uh, our Nuremberg rights, where did our rights to informed consent go when well, they were suspended? 
Uh, and that's exactly what these declarations do. I mean, so it's kind of this, uh, the prime example of this mechanism is what just happened in New Mexico with the governor of New Mexico yes. saying that, look, there is an emergency, therefore I am going to bypass the constitution and basically enforce a, a new law or whatever it was that is unconstitutional. And that right there, to me, that is the perfect example of this entire strategy. It's, here's an emergency. You said something so important. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it's, it's so important because one can't put too fine of a point on it. The, the declaration of a national emergency by the president that happened on 13 March 2020 suspended our constitution. What it did is it solidified all powers effectively in the executive branch. That becomes what is in effect martial law. And, and that happened. Right. The declaration of public health emergency suspends your human rights. What, what are those? So by virtue of the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights, the International Convention on Human Rights, both of them in Article 7 say you don't get to experiment on people without their informed consent. Well, what happened with COVID? They experimented on us without our informed consent because our human rights, and our international rights, the God-given rights, um, we're suspended. We, we just become chattel property. What you said couldn't be more important. The New Mexico governor declared a public health emergency, not a national emergency, not a state emergency. She said that gun violence is a public health emergency, which means she didn't suspend people's constitutional rights in New Mexico. She suspended their human rights, meaning all of them. Exactly. Exactly. And so... What are you so you know looking at Marburg and and more in focus because obviously you can see they're gearing up for this new pandemic. You know, they're talking about Alex Jones, you know, you know, as the whistleblowers, and you can see all the mechanisms sure. that are there, but obviously yes. if no one gets sick and there's you know, yeah. you remember the videos coming out of Wuhan and people falling over, which I think that was sure. all the CCP psyop that was made for the West, though I do think sure. there's some crazy things happening in China, which is a different issue. So there has to be something that's happening and people have to be getting sick. Otherwise, no one's going to feel the fear. And that fear is what that's right. makes people give up their rights. So what I'm talking about is that this Marburg virus is something that can be activated. Right. Yes. So, so I want to dive yes. into that more with you. Well, let me let me agree your point first and foremost that as of yesterday, you know, we've got whistleblowers too, and I've been getting a lot of uh, information about advertisements for, for positions to be filled. And as in the case of uh, coronavirus, there was the event 201, right? They were planning this thing out. They had an exercise, and lo and behold, that exercise turned into the real thing, so to speak. Mike Pompeo said it uh, in front of President uh, Trump, and he said, we're in the middle of a live exercise. Well, here we go. So two days ago, an advertisement for the DOD is seeking a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, it's called Seaburn, exercise specialist slash planner. Somebody with specific, what does it say? Realistic planning scenarios. Um, and let's see, they had a, a joint base San Antonio, Houston. They must have a, an expertise in Ebola. So yes, this is this is they're preparing for this to happen is the answer to the question. And what we had found some time ago, um, you know, again in, in the course of our litigation, whistleblowers came from near and far, and we just had a lot of research that we were doing on all things that could potassium, potentially have some bearing, which included electronic warfare and EMF radiation that coincided with the biological things that we were seeing happening as well. Um, and we found a, a litany of papers, we're directed to a litany of papers that make reference to the use of um, 18 gigahertz signals in the 5G system to cause the swelling of lipid nanoparticles. So in the, the hydrogel, right, all of the shots that they used as the, the kill shots, I call them, right, for COVID, shared some commonalities. Those commonalities were the use of lipid nanoparticles to carry synthetic DNA and RNA to reprogram people's bodies. You think about these little lipid nanoparticles as little bombers. They're covered in fat. 
they were mainlined in people's veins, and then they were uh, able to slip inside of the nucleus of a person's cell, deploy their payload, drop their payload, and that's what caused the genetic changes, synthetic mRNA um, and uh, synthetic DNA, and the virus DNA is what did this depending on the brand. So what we came to find at the same time was that these same lipid nanoparticles were filled with all kinds of different pathogens. It wasn't just um, three different HIV proteins. It wasn't just these spike proteins. It wasn't coronavirus. It was these strange chimeric diseases. When I say chimeric, part viral, part bacterial, Staphylococcus, Staphylococcus, Ebola, Marburg, E. coli. And these were patents and um, scientific papers talking about sticking these things inside of lipid nanoparticles for a later release. That later release we found on the scientific papers that point to the use of an 18 gigahertz signal, which causes those lipid nanoparticles to swell. And when they swell, they release their contents. So effectively, um, it was I think Dr. Chambers called it a timed release or a remote release. Uh, he's a green green medical doctor. This would allow a standoff that you could at some point remotely and distantly cause the release of Marburg or any other disease because the patents were quite broad. It wasn't just Marburg. It wasn't just Ebola, uh, Lhasa, and other hemorrhagic fevers. It was a variety of pathogens. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. Um, like I said before, this is like devastating news to people that have taken the um uh, boosters and the um the jab all that um what you have put in your body is what you've allowed you know to be put in your body is now getting ready to do a time release and connect to the 5g towers um and this not the nano technology that you took in the vaccine is now going to be released and there are going to be all kinds of diseases that come from these pathogens uh within that one little um the 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 jail that went into one centralized area here that they said that you know it would stay in that area but it's going to all parts of your body and so uh Todd is is he's he's like I said he's an attorney and he's he was talking regarding um and he said he's very careful with you know how he puts out information to make sure things are right as you can see on the screen he did have a document it is online I actually have a copy of myself of this document of the um of the Mar uh, what they call the Mecklenburg virus um I have a copy of this um myself and I, you can also don't let me tell you about it you go online you do the research you look at the article and you tell me if this is not planned this was done in 2020 now right now india is going through a shutdown right now with a, a virus also so all the different things that can be released from this one jab that you took uh now you know it's controlled by you know, like I said, the electronics and the 5G towers and EMF that we are basically being cooked um, by 5G. Well, now you're actually being um, connected to internet, which I've been talking about in previous broadcasts, how that Daniel saw, I'm sorry, Neb King Nebuchadnezzar saw and Daniel interpreted the big statue with iron mixed with clay um, over in Daniel, it talks about being mixed or, or human humans being con, uh, connected to uh, electronics or, as they say, iron or um, iron mixed with clay. So this is really um, something that they didn't want you to know, something that they're hiding from you. And um, they tell you one thing and they're doing another. So like I said, the next thing that comes out and there's they actually are preparing for another pandemic the reason why is because now they they can control what happens to you and in in the major cities of whoever that you know took the vaccine like i was saying i think in the last broadcast i was talking about how that the people that took the vaccine are more susceptible to the viruses now it's because you actually have taken it, the virus in your body and it's being time released. Now, what can happen next, as he was saying, is martial law, 
is into place because of this one document that um that you can find online uh they can put they can quarantine you uh they can they can do a lot of things uh because he said all that has to happen now is the bleeding of the eyes they said the bleeding of the ears the eyes the nose this pandemic is going to be no joke you got not only going to have a fever but you're going to be bleeding in any part of where there's holes in your body and so I sit back and I said, Lord God, that's why you told me because it's uh, this, 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 the, the the jab and the boosters were just a, uh, it was just the 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 grounding floor for what they are really trying to accomplish here, um, as far as um, for for mankind. They, they actually are, uh, you know, it's a it's a genocide type situation. Now, Todd is calling for all sheriffs and anybody, actually, police, enforcement, anyone that will, you know, uh, that will not, you know, take heed to the quarantines and stuff like that, because people are going to be, you know, um, they're going to end up going to what they say, FEMA camps and all this kind of stuff. As a result, they're going to it's, it's going to be like they're going to be trying to separate you from the reg from the other people. Um, like I said, because of this thing that uh, is getting ready to 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 come to pass or occur, um, do you have anything on that, uh, Pastor Marvin? I I know. Um, no, I, I don't have nothing. Yeah, this is kind of new, and so I'm gonna let you finish listening to Todd, and um, but I, I just wanted to kind of iterate that this was serious uh, back in the day. So this was just the ground floor when you took. Uh, uh, the medication back here for Corona, you actually ended up, um, you actually ended up, uh, now you're, you're in a situation where it's going to be time release and for whatever pandemic they want to plan, because it's a pandemic. It's not, it's not a pandemic. It's been planned. Uh, in 2020, they already have this in effect. So when you start hearing cases, and this is not just from, you know, uh, the Merkelberg virus, it's a combination of different things that are going to happen to your body. But like I said, I'm going to um, let Todd continue here. I'm going to turn the camera back around to my television set and let you finish listening to this. Because when I heard this, I was like, oh, my God. This can't be happening. So basic snake are causing any disease is what I'm saying to you. And sorry, one last Please thing. do. Yeah. According to Dr. Vlee, according to Dr. Vlee, it may not even be necessary to have these lipid nanoparticles um, as it relates to the, the 5G. It is her opinion uh, and learned opinion that the EMS signals themselves have the ability and the power to cause or imitate any disease known to man. Hey folks, I've got a quick message for you. So, okay, so we're going to forward the quick message um, and we're going to get right back into it. This here. is what it means. Now, all right, we're going to forward a family home. All right. So, like I said before, this is so devastating that I had to share this. I had to share this on Facebook. Not to mention, I had to, you know, I had to talk about this because, you know, God's These people need to know what's going on. Are, those are what initially the CDC said would never leave the site of the injection, which was false, right? Uh -huh. um, and that those That's are basically, false. they're like the little dump truck that carries the dirt into each cell, right? That dirt being what they're saying is the mRNA, that they're going to help you know, give your cells the ability to fight off the coronavirus. But that basically these little transportation units, these lipid metal particles, have gone all over yeah. the bodies. We know that they're also accumulating yes. um, in reproductive organs, hearts, et cetera. Um, but that within these lipid nanoparticles are actual pathogens. So man-made pathogens right. such as Ebola or Marburg, that they're almost like it's a little capsule, right? So we've all taken medication. That's yes, right. It's in a gel cap with time release. So they're almost in a gel cap that's yeah, keeping them know. hidden, or keeping them not, you know, obviously, you know, because otherwise, if if the, if the gel cap had to say a one day time release, people would get the vaccine and they'd have Marburg a day later. That doesn't work because they sure. stop getting the vaccines. So that basically, what you're saying is that what you've seen with patents and the actual documents is that that 18 gigahertz signal coming from the 5G towers, which we saw go gins into the bloodstreams uh, of the individuals that have these the vaccines within them. And that they can therefore, as crazy as it sounds, with the press of a button, 
And you're saying that the, the, the research is showing it's a, these one minute pulses, these three pulses at 18 gigahertz, basically unlock these pathogens so they can create the next pandemic just with, with the push of a button. I mean, it sounds crazy, but is that? Well, in several ways. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying is that this is one of many ways that such an outbreak could be caused. Um, you know, one thing we've learned th throughout this whole thing is that no one sector of attack is their favorite. They, we are under attack from a variety of different ways. Since central bank digital currencies cutting off our food supply, water supply, fuel supply, um, attacking our children's sexuality, causing um, you know, high rates of abortion and euthanasia, you, know, you name it, Seth, and they're trying it. So this is one of many factors uh, that are available to them. And it was an interesting juxtaposition coming from different people that had the different pieces, including some electronic warfare specialists, um, people inside the government who actually built weapons, and, and to find that um, different frequencies of EMF, not just EMF, different frequencies, period, cause different effects. In this particular case, it's the 18 gigahertz signal. I'm sending the papers on it now. And yeah, it was three uh, one minute blasts caused the, it's a pulse, causes the lipid nanoparticles to swell and spill their contents, period. We don't know what those contents are exactly in each and every one of them. We don't even know what's in the boosters. Why? Because these are experimental shots. These are code countermeasures. They're not even investigating the drugs. They don't have to tell us what's in them. But what, what we have found in these things from people who actually received the shots, um, in one particular case from a, a person who's extraordinarily well-known, um, a, a curriculum vitae that would blow anybody away, absolutely expert, inside of the actual lipid nanoparticles that were injected into this poor person was 99 pages of pathogenic materials. Synthetic RNA, DNA, all kinds of stuff, and they included the laundry list of everything bad you can think of, including proteins from Marburg and other such things. So we don't have to really guess, Seth, you know, would they do this? They have already attacked, attacked humanity. They went to the trouble, I'm going to send that to you as well, of patenting these chimeric pathogens that are designed to be put inside lipid nanoparticles. On top of that, we see five or six different scientific research pages. These are, these are peer review papers, all of which conclude the same thing, that you could apply an 18 gigahertz signal and it would cause these lipid nanoparticles to spill their contents. Lo and behold, <laughs> is it possible that those pathogenic contents would include Marburg and, and uh, Ebola and you know, whatever, Staphylococcus, people like, it, it's highly likely, given that somebody went to the trouble of patenting those chimeric pathogens, why else would you patent them, much less have them for sale? And we have found them for sale. So the, the evidence, albeit circumstantial, that this is going to happen is nonetheless robust to say that it could happen. And we already have a modus operandi. We already have motive. Would they do it? Yes. Would they do it again? You're damn right, because they have to finish the job. So again, one of many different methodologies to try and destroy humanity, whether it's dues in, in Maui or California or hurricanes or floods, doesn't matter. They, they are hell bent on destroying us. All right. So, I mean, there you have it in a nutshell. And so we need to be preparing for the inevitable. Um, like I said, I actually am looking at the document online right now. Uh, at, you know, I researched it myself to make sure I'm not giving you false information. Uh, the biggest part right now is to realize, you know, that you need to pray and repent of taking these things because you, you harmed your own body. And so, you know, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And But like I said, those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you know, it said if you, you would drink, if you drink any daily poison, it would not harm you. you. You would lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So uh, according to those that believe in Christ's name. And so we as the children of God need to be in preparation. We need to be preparing uh, because um, this is not something that we are taking lightly um, this is not something that, you know, this is not something that, um, you know, that I've made up, that I've created myself. This is online. This is a document um, 
regarding is what the human, what they the, call the health um, and human um, health, you know, this is online, the health and human uh, services department has put online. The notice was on 12-9-2020. It's a federal register. So this is already there. You can look it up for yourself. Like I said, the internet's the biggest, um, it's the biggest library that you could ever find. If you're looking for something, you can find it on the internet. But um, like I said before, if you want a copy of it, I can even print you off a copy of it and send it to you uh, if you don't have internet access. But this is huge. Um, you do need to understand what you're actually up against. And this is a time to be in preparedness. Like I said, martial law is upon us. It's as soon as uh, they begin shutdowns again, it's as soon as all this other stuff comes into play, you're going to be at the mercy of the government um, and at the mercy of God, I would say, um, because they're going to round you up and put you in, you know, in camps and stuff like that to quarantine you away from people. And this document it already says that they can do it. You know, this big, big, um, big news to a lot of people who said, oh, you know, um, We'll wait until, like I said, India's already got shutdowns happening in India, and they're 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 actually bowing down to um to the government even as we speak regarding being um having to go through a virus and a pandemic right now. And this is not just with this Mecklenburg virus is a combination of stuff. So this is not just one thing. This is several different things. Uh, so, like I said before, this is really something that we as children of God need to be aware of. And I thought I would share it. A uh, Bible Vision Ministries Church wanted to share this to the believers, to the people, to the world, um, to let you know what is actually what they're planning, what's going on. And it's not going to get better. It's getting ready to get worse. They're talking about zombies and apocalypse. They're talking about bleeding and all of this kind of stuff. This is going to be more. It's like an 80% chance of the person who, if, they, if you get it, you're going to die. And so um, the biggest part right now is we need to be in prayer for people that have taken the vaccine. We're all in this together. We're humans. We're all in this together. There's no right, no, right, no wrong. There's no little line, big you here. This is just us trying to protect all humanity and make sure that um, we as the children of God can 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 get through this world and have what we need. Um, I'm going to stop right here because it's just a lot of information and we're just going to have prayer right now. It's just so, so much information. And so we're going to have prayer and um, I'm going to begin right now. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, as we listen to this information and uh, about the Marklinburg virus and, and we, you know, even though we don't see it happening as of yet, it is in some parts of the world right now starting. And we, as the children of God, pray for the nations. We pray for the government. We pray for the who. We pray for all those in authority uh that have put this stuff into place the governors and the president and everybody god we just ask that you we ask that you save us even from ourselves from our fears you know all of this is developed fear in the land and god we ask that we have faith and trust in you and believe that you're going to take care of us and that you're not going to allow any of these diseases to come upon us according to exodus 15 and 26, you said that you would put none of these diseases upon us. And so I believe in your word, what your word says. You came, 30% uh, of your ministry was healing. And there was a reason for that, because you knew that you were the healer. You're the healer, God. Nobody else can heal. Nothing else can heal. And rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. The word sorcery in the Bible is, is talks about pharmacia, pharmacia, which means for our pharmacia in the Greek. God, we ask you, God, just to touch the people that are listening today and comfort their hearts and their minds as they listen today to this and give them direct direction and wisdom now on what to do next. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, that's all. That's all the time we have. I want to thank you for tuning in to Bible Vision Ministries. Please share this, like this, share this with someone who subscribed uh, to this. It should be on, you know, a lot of the main media platforms, like I said before. But 
Um, we, like I said, I may be getting off of those because of the, the 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 way that God is leading me. But you just share this video as much as you can. Make sure that people know that. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing on the screen. Make sure that people know uh, what's about to occur, what's about to happen. Um, and we, like I said, we lo we love you. Um, we we want the best for you. We want God's blessings to be upon you. Uh, God bless you, and um, see you next Saturday. Take care. Let me cut off here recording.